Nine months ago, I showed you guys how to add your favorite streaming services to the Steam Deck. Well, a lot of time has passed. There have been a lot of updates to Google Chrome, to Mozilla Firefox, to even the Steam Deck. And the process that I had that was working no longer works. Pretty much during the last nine months, I got a lot of comments from you guys saying that, oh, at first, a lot of you were saying that it works. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And my stuff was working, but Today, I got some more comments asking, how do you re-add another Google Chrome to Steam? And so I decided to investigate and I did, and I had the hardest time trying to figure it out. Now, I did eventually figure it out and it did work to some degree, but I found out Google Chrome um, wasn't allowing me to play Disney Plus, wasn't allowing me to play Crunchyroll and other services. So I was like, okay, shoot. Now I need to figure out how to do this with Firefox. And so I did, I figured out how to do it with Firefox. Everything was running smoothly, just like my old instructions. I even typed out a whole new thing on my website with instructions. But then when I went to game mode and I pressed play on the streaming services, it wouldn't full screen the app and it was bugging out and it was so weird. And I've been at this for the last three or four hours and I, I'm exhausted. So why am I making this video? Because there was a new painless, easy way to add your favorite stream services to your Steam Deck. And I'm going to show you right now. Okay. All right. So the first step is you need to download Emu Deck. Okay. Yes. This is the program that allows you to emulate your favorite systems and ROMs and things like that but they came out with a new update that allows you to add your cloud services. Okay. So if you don't know what emu deck is, you literally just have to search emu deck and there it is. You can download it straight to your steam deck. Follow the instructions here at emu deck.com. I'll put the link down below. Just follow the instructions. Okay. Download the emu deck installer, go through all the setup instructions. Next open up emu deck. It's going to check for updates when you first open it. If there are updates, it will install the updates and then restart it. And then once you load it, it should bring you to this window. All right. So let me full screen it for you. Now, what we're looking for is cloud services manager. So we're going to go down tools and stuff. We're going to go down and there it is. Cloud services manager. Go to more info. Manage cloud services. Okay. Click that bubble. Press OK. All right, so you can see all the ones that I've already clicked basically of all the services that I use. So just for fun, we're going to go through it again and we're going to click the ones that we use. Okay, so I use Amazon Prime, Apple TV, Crunchyroll, Discord, Disney Plus. Um, I don't have Hulu, HBO Max, I don't have that. We use Netflix. I got Paramount Plus. I just checked with Emu Deck and Peacock TV, Peacock still doesn't work. I looked online and I researched Peacock doesn't work with Linux after all. So it's kind of bummer. All right. Spotify, Twitch. Do I want Twitter? No, I don't want Twitter. No, I don't want Twitter. Okay. Um, YouTube. All right, cool. All right. So these are all the cloud services that I use. You press okay. Attention, you must update and run Steam ROM Manager the same as you would when adding or removing ROMs for changes to take place in Steam. All right. So then we're going to go quit. OK, and we can exit out. You're not done. All right. So we need to do what it just said. Steam ROM Manager. So when you install the Emu Deck program, it's going to install this right here. Steam ROM Manager. OK, so double click that. Exit Steam to launch Steam ROM Manager. Yes, you need to exit Steam in order for the ROM Manager to get set up here. All right, let's go ahead and full screen it. So what we're going to do is we're going to not worry about any of this stuff. We're going to go to preview. Click parse. You can follow the instructions here. Okay, but click parse. It's going to load. And it's going to show you all this. I don't know if you guys use ROMs or whatever, but you're going to go to category. 
cloud services. And there you are. There's all the different cloud services that we're about to add to your Steam Deck, okay? And this makes my effort seem like an old, sad dinosaur. It is the old way of doing things. This is the new way. It's so much quicker and faster and easier. You can click through here, decide which poster that you want. Doesn't look like there's much variety here. All right, I like that. Yeah, pretty much like all the same here. Um, Crunchyroll, I like the orange one. Oh, there it is, that's the one I had. All right, once you have all your covers set to how you want it, you're gonna go save to Steam. You're gonna wait for the prompts to tell you doing batch 101. And you should be good to go. Done adding, removing. Once that pops up where it says done adding, removing, then you go exit, return to game mode. Okay, so now we're in game mode. We're gonna go to Steam. We're gonna go to library and we're gonna go to collections and in collections, it will say cloud services, probably right at the beginning of your collections, right? Go to cloud services and it should have all the cloud services that you selected in the Steam ROM manager through Emu Deck. We'll just quickly go through each one and show you that it all works, okay? It's got the logo, it's got the hero, it's got all the artwork. We're gonna press play. There you go. Amazon Prime's working. Apple TV. There we go, working. Crunchy Roll. go that's working discord i won't go there let's go disney plus and uh, let's actually sign in here okay because i want to take it that next step i want to show you guys that this actually works okay all right let's go star wars and probably the mandalorian since i haven't watched the mandalorian forever i haven't watched season three season one and two great i haven't watched season three Yay, it's working. Look at that, chat. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is where I exit out of the Steam Deck tutorial space. Again, I just wanna thank you guys so much for all of you who watched my video over the last nine months, adding your Steam Deck services to your Steam Deck. I just happened upon that, uh, I don't know, solution, way about doing things. I felt bad that I couldn't troubleshoot everyone, but I did the best that I could. This is the way to go. All right, so all the instructions will be down below. Hit me with a subscribe, please, if you felt like this video was helpful and if you enjoy this type of content. I am now live streaming on YouTube exclusively, no longer Twitch or anything like that, just YouTube. So be sure to catch us live Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and I will continue to upload videos relating to photography and gaming every now and then. Um, if you guys want to join our channel as a member, please do so. You can access all the Strategy Guide Chronicles content that I've been cooking up. And I've got another episode coming out very, very soon. So let me know down below in the comments if this was very helpful. I appreciate all of you guys' support. I appreciate everything you guys um, do to show me some love. And uh, have a good rest of your day. All right. Aloha.